So this one's about foreshadowing. Um, and if you remember throughout the course of the entire novella that we studied, like we talked a ton about foreshadowing. The biggest thing I want you to focus on is the notion of there's really two main events that are foreshadowed. Okay. And the first event that's foreshadowed is Lenny killing Curly's wife. Um, there's a lot of incidences and conversations that point to the fact that that's going to happen. So I would look for spots where, or things that happened that would point to um, Lenny killing Curly's wife. The other thing that I would point to as far as like um, evidence of foreshadowing is of George making the ultimate decision to kill Lenny. So for example, um, we talked about in chapter one, when George makes a contingency plan to for Lenny and says, if anything goes wrong, you need to come right back here where we are in chapter one. Um, that's really a, a way to foreshadow that, yes, something is going to go wrong. You might not know what, but the reader can figure out, yeah, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have something that goes uh, unexpectedly or goes poorly for George and Lenny. Um, another one I would say is when Carlson shoots Candy's dog I think that that is a large uh, piece of foreshadowing for the fact that George will uh, kill Lenny. Um, the only thing to think about this one is don't don't try to pick evidence that like happens right before the event. So a lot of times students struggle. They they try to say that something is foreshadowing, but the event happens like immediately before whatever it foreshadows. Um, that's not really the way I want you to think about foreshadowing. And also, as you explain foreshadowing, make sure that you explain what the the foreshadowing event is and what it foreshadows so what does it say is going to, going to come next